Hi, I'm Kyle with In Session Audio. I am the owner and the designer of the instruments here, and I'm coming to you on December 30th, 2022, from Nashville, Tennessee, in the United States. And it's been customary in the last few years to uh, send you a note at the end of the year, covering a little things, uh, covering some of the things that have happened in the year and what's coming up, and some things that I've found uh, to be helpful in the studio and that I like to share that maybe you'll find helpful too. So um, I'd like to start by talking a little bit about myself. And um, when I think back to the version of Kyle in his late teens, learning guitar and really becoming infatuated with guitar effects, uh, trying to make the ultimate pedal board to try and figure out how to make a really unique sound or do something that's uh, different than what other guitar players uh, were doing at the time, I can see that that was a seed that has carried through to my job today in making instruments and uh, figuring out how to do things and present musical um, avenues for people that uh, they might not have otherwise. And I'm so thankful for your guys' support for your purchase of our products and uh, giving me the ability to do uh, this job for you guys. It's it's not lost on me and I'm, I'm just so grateful. Um, when I think about what's coming up uh, in 2023, I wish I could tell you for certain, or uh, more specifically, I wish I could tell you when it would be coming out. But over the last year or so, we've been working on kind of a drum platform and um, similar to our riff generation product, if you're familiar with that, you'll know that it, um, well, it generates riffs for one, but maybe more significantly and something I was really after at the time was figuring out how to take sounds from different uh, types of instruments, but have them all live in one riff, sounding like they all kind of live together in one house. For example, taking a vibraphone and a kalimba, an electric guitar and maybe a synth, and having them all trade notes within the same riff, but yet it's still sounding uh, coherent and making that easy to do. Well, we're trying to do something similar to that with drums. In the studio this year, um, things that I've liked or found useful that maybe you will too, um, I've started using a plugin by Heaviosity, which you're probably familiar with their sample libraries. They make a few um, plugins as well, and they have a new one called Fury, which is a distortion plugin, which I've just found super useful. It can do a few kind of flashy things, but every time I've kind of wanted to goose uh, sound, give it a little bit more harmonic uh, richness, or really just kind of mangle it with some distortion, I find that it's really flexible and uh, covers a, a really wide gamut of usages. Um, hardware in the studio, this is not exactly studio gear, but uh, this mug, it's called uh, an Ember mug, and it actually has a, it charges up on a base, and it's got a heating element inside, and it will keep your coffee or tea uh, hot for about an hour, which um, has actually helped me drink less coffee because uh, rather than me trying to guzzle a hot cup, I can just let it sit and uh, sip on it. So, um, if I lost that cup today, I'd probably buy it again so I could have it by tomorrow. Um, and I'm always a fan of uh, music documentaries. And um, Amazon came out with a great one this year called uh, The Sound of 007. And it chronicles both the soundtrack as well as the, usually there's a pop song always associated with uh, the James Bond movies. And um, it, it starts at the start and ends at the, the last one, uh, No Time to Die, which I think was done by Hans Zimmer and uh, Billie Eilish did the uh, pop song for it. And uh, I don't know, it just gives you a really uh, interesting insight into um, a sonic characteristic that we all know from those movies and um, makes you realize how unique it is and special. The end of the year is always also a time to kind of reflect on things and um, I know with us working in the creative field, we're always going to have some frustrations. We're always going to have some 
for better or worse, uh, failures. Um, this year, I think I've been fortunate in the sense that most of my failures, you know, you're trying something new and it's not always going to work and you feel like, ah, oh, hell, I, I wasted four hours or I wasted a day or I wasted a week or I traveled somewhere and did some recording and those recordings didn't turn out uh, like I'd hoped. Um, so I don't know if we can ever eliminate all those, but I want to tell you about a phone call or video call I recently had with um, the design company that does all the final graphics for our last five or six uh, products that we've put out. They're called Vogar Design, and um, they probably do graphics uh, for this field of products, this um, music tech field, for probably 20 or 30 different companies. So any kind of interface that you see um, on a bigger named uh, project that looks really great and is kind of cutting edge and is artistic, there's a very strong chance that they were the ones that um, that did that. And as I was talking to one of their owners, a uh, key part to this story is that they are located in the Ukraine. And on this video call, um, I was catching up with them about how they're doing. And uh, she was telling me about how they're trying to build out their basement so that their office can withstand whatever might come their way, trying to figure out ways to keep power on when their power inevit inevitably um, takes a hit for periods of time that they don't ever know about. And um, during this call, um, she's trying to figure out how she can help me and make my next product or In Session Audio's next product um, the best, what they can do for me. And it was, um, it's just a really humbling moment when you're talking to someone in such tough situations and their team, um, both living in Ukraine and also really refugees at this at this point, um, still wanting to work uh, on my behalf. It's it's super humbling and uh, puts these kind of frustrations in the creative field that I've had this past year really in perspective. So hopefully, 2023 brings brighter spots for everyone and uh, all of our work continues to get better and in safer environments. I want to wish you the best for 2023 uh, to you, your friends, your family, and I just want to say thank you for uh, allowing us to be part of your music making. Best wishes.